What is open knowledge? In most countries, copyright laws mean that when you produce any piece of content, you own the rights to the product of your work. When you take a photo on your phone, you own the photo and have the right to exploit it for your own commercial benefit. Copyright laws have existed in Britain since the 1600s, when printing companies wanted to stop other printers from selling copies of their books. In the Middle Ages and before, most culture was produced and transmitted orally. With the rise of the printing press, knowledge started to be seen as individual rather than collective property. Often seen as the first real copyright law, the 1709 Statute of Anne gave British publishers rights for a fixed period, after which the copyright expired. The law prescribed a copyright term of 14 years, with a provision for renewal for a similar term. This law was incorporated into the Copyright Clause of the US Constitution in 1787, with an identical copyright length of 14 years, renewable once. The 1886 Berne Convention first established that copyrights do not have to be asserted by the author to be in force, and extended the copyright term to 50 years after the author's death. These provisions were then incorporated into the World Trade Organization's TRIPS Agreement in 1995. Today the length of copyrights varies in different legal jurisdictions. In most of the world, the default length of copyright is the life of the author plus 50 or 70 years. Copyrights usually expire at the end of the calendar year in question, and January the 1st is now celebrated as Public Domain Day, when many creative works enter the public domain. In response to the prevalence of copyright, a movement has formed seeking to promote free or open licenses for content. Founded in 2001, the same year as Wikipedia, Creative Commons is a non-profit organisation which aims to facilitate the legal sharing of creative works. Creative Commons provides a number of generic copyright license options to the public, such as the CC BY SA 4.0 license under which Wikimedia's content is shared. Like normal copyright, CC licenses assert the right of the author of a work to be identified as its creator. Most CC licenses explicitly state that they are attribution licenses. However, unlike copyright, CC licenses allow other people to reuse, copy and modify their content without asking permission from the original author. Open knowledge is the name given to all content that is shared on open licenses and is free to reuse and modify. Wikimedia and other non-profit organisations encourage people to learn about open knowledge and copyright and to share some of the creative content they produce on open licenses. When you upload images to Facebook, Twitter or Instagram, you give away some of your rights to your content, allowing these corporations to reuse your content without asking and without attributing the work to its creator. We encourage people to upload their photos and other media to Wikimedia Commons so they can be shared freely and used to make new content, just like this video. We believe that knowledge about the world should be freely accessible and usable by everybody. Not all creative products are commercial products, and we hope that in future it becomes easier for people to share their content freely with the world so that everyone can benefit.